Good day. Like I said in part 2 of my last glaucoma video, there is ongoing research for the cure for glaucoma and one possible discovery has come up. So in this video, the question now is, could a readily available vitamin supplement help slow down glaucoma? Let's find out. All over the globe, more than 80 million people are affected by glaucoma, one of the main causes of blindness. Glaucoma is described as the silent thief of sight because it frequently causes no noticeable symptoms. We believe that there are so many undetected cases of glaucoma as there are cases that have been diagnosed due to its lack of symptoms. When people visit the optometrist or ophthalmologist for a routine eye examination, they frequently receive a diagnosis. Glaucoma is treated by reducing intraocular pressure with eye medications laser surgery and uh, other methods. Even though it may be successful, not everybody benefits from it. More than a third of the patients continue to lose vision even after receiving treatment. This is due to the fact that increased eye pressure is merely a risk factor for developing the condition. In a particular case, a patient received initial laser treatment and after that drops were administered, still the pressure did not go down. After that, it was suggested that surgery was considered. At this point, it is important to note that the energy center of the retinal ganglion cells, which is the nerve cells of the eyes that transmits visual information from the retina to the brain, gradually disappears as a result of glaucoma. It is also important to note that the retinal ganglion cells utilize a lot of energy and are perpetually active until switched off and there is mitochondrial malfunction and progressive loss in the eyes of a glaucoma patient. The energy factories in our retinal ganglion cells are the mitochondria, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, NAD is an essential chemical that is required by the mitochondria for the production of energy. Research also shows that our eyes produce less NAD as we age, potentially starving the retinal ganglion cells of energy. So the big question is, can my diet provide me with nicotinamide? The answer is yes. Foods including red meat, fish, chicken, brown rice, nuts and seeds contain nicotinamide. However, we require supplements since the high amounts we employ in our clinical trials are impossible to obtain from diet alone. Should I start using supplements with nicotinamide? Effectiveness of nicotinamide supplements which are currently available for purchase and consumption is unknown. Even at higher doses in research, nicotinamide has few known adverse effects. The most typical is mild gastrointestinal problems. However, you should always talk to your doctor before beginning any new supplements. In addition to causing eye strain, the loss in NAD will render these cells more susceptible to damage as we age and play a role in the development of glaucoma. So I pose the incredible straightforward query, could we just reintroduce NAD into the system and stop these retinal ganglion cells from degenerating during glaucoma? A theory was put to the test by adding a form of vitamin B3 which nerve cells used to make NAD to the food of mice that were genetically susceptible to glaucoma. Research also discovered that nicotinamide supplementation significantly reduced the amount of nerve damage that would ordinarily occur in mice with glaucoma. A fresh method of treating glaucoma. You may be familiar with vitamin B3 as the one found in Vegemite. Vitamin B3 comes in a variety of forms such as niacin, nicotinamide, and nicotinamide riboside. These all function in the body in many different ways and have various adverse effects. The only research data we currently have on glaucoma is nicotinamide. The vitamin supplement nicotinamide is widely available and has been used for decades to cure or prevent a variety of ailments, including skin cancer. The first human clinical trial of nicotinamide and the results 
suggested that it might improve the condition of retinal ganglion cells and prevent the loss of vision caused by glaucoma. Although the outcomes were substantial, the experiment lasted six months, so it is unknown whether consuming nicotinamide could help prevent glaucoma related vision loss over the long period of time. However, a two-year clinical research that will allow us to ascertain if nicotinamide can halt the cause of glaucoma should be included in routine clinical care has just begun. If nicotinamide is proven to be effective, it may be the first medication to focus specifically on the retinal ganglion cells well-being. Additionally, because nicotinamide supplements are widely accessible, nicotinamide may be a cost-effective medication that may be combined with already effective therapies for people all over the world. It might be able to aid patients with glaucoma in halting additional vision loss. Given that glaucoma affects people of all ages, I'm hoping that one day we'll discover a medication, a cure, or anything else that will benefit us all. It can happen to anyone regardless of the age. Once again, if you have found this video useful, please go ahead and click the like button so that others may benefit from the video as well and also subscribe so that you can receive more useful videos like this one. Thank you.